cool, right? I might be using the seat belt release aid because I don't want to damage my nails. But for people with mobility problems like arthritis or maybe an upper body injury, devices like these can make a world of difference. And this particular 3D printed device has a story behind it. The seatbelt fastener actually was designed for my dad who's got uh, uh, gouty arthritis and he couldn't, uh, it was very painful when to reach down and release it. Um, so that was my own design that I designed a few years ago. This is Mark Hache, one of many Canadians with Makers Making Change, a group of volunteers who design and 3D print accessible devices at low cost. Really, the possibilities are endless. Look us up, we go into Makers Making Change. We've got over 260 different devices out there. If you find something you need, uh, request it and we'll do our best to fulfill that for you, for sure. My name is Amelia Hampton. It's nice to meet you. Amelia Hampton from Winnipeg uses 3D printed switches to help her communicate. I love that I got to customize my switches by picking the color. Initially she was using her head and that was not so accurate because she wants to move her head around to look at people and not hit switches at her headrest so we moved to these hand switches here. Occupational therapist Lacey Lines says the switches allow Hampton to express herself more independently. She says even though her mobility is affected by cerebral palsy, Hampton's thoughts are not hindered at all. Thank you. Makers making change for providing these switches. Chris Martin, who made the switches for Hampton, says it's important to him and all of Makers Making Change that everyone is able to live without barriers. I mean, you're allowing someone to have a voice, someone who isn't able to communicate to the amount that they want to, and then even better, you get to make them something that looks cool that they enjoy using. Thank you for everything. <laughs> In Winnipeg, Joanne Roberts, City News.